So the Terek is a watch size dive computer. Now this is going to very, very, very much depend on consumer preference here. I am always someone who has leaned towards having a watch style dive computer. And when you compare it to other high-end technical dive computers, it's, it's definitely in the smaller range. That's something that appeals to me as a consumer. Um, if you could, as I said, if you compare it to other computers in the technical diving range, they are going to be quite substantially larger. From afar, it almost looks like, uh, you know, one of the industry standard smartwatches now, which is quite cool. It doesn't add anything to the what dive watch, but it does essentially look like a smartwatch. Is as it is watch size, it's the sort of thing which you could quite easily wear every day if you are a watch person. It's the sort of thing that I now wear every single day. It's become my new watch. If you're not a watch person, then yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna be something you wear every day. Depending on how big your wrists or bones are, I'm kind of a bigger dude, so this sits really, really, really nicely on uh, on my wrist. It's really not too thick at all. It's a lot, I've, I've seen a lot of criticism for people saying this is too thick. For Again, this is just me and my review. This isn't too thick for me. This is a very, very, very good dive computer size. And what's lovely is that it sits beautifully on your wrist there's there's no movement there's no pulling of the you know of, of the hair there's no moving around and you know abrasing the skin this sits like a glove it sits like a glove this fits like a glove rather the computer does come as standard with a rubber strap now what's really nice actually is that you do have the option to accessorize with the Terek what's really nice about the additional uh, accessories with uh, with the Terek is that uh, they're, they're really, really consumer friendly as far as price point is concerned, if, especially if you compare it to some other brands. $12.99 for an Elastomare strap is really great value for money. Um, and if you haven't seen the Accessorize with Shearwater uh, little YouTube short that we put up, here's a snippet of it now. One other criticism that I've heard people mention as far as the strap is concerned is to say that it's too short. What both the dive computer which comes with this standard strap and all the additional accessory straps if you choose to get them include is an extension. So if you are someone who dives in a dry suit, do not worry. You do not need to get a bungee or anything like that. There is a full on working extension and this computer, uh, this strap as you can see if I pull it now, it's really, really heavy duty. It's, not, it's going to take a beating. You can put it through its paces. Now I did mention this in the video that we published previously about how the Terek handles in the field and is it really that good? Um, the single greatest feature of this dive computer is the uh, AMOLED display that they have installed on it. It's a thing of beauty. Please go and watch that other video because I do wax lyrical about how good the display is. And just another thing which I'd like to build on, this computer does have a sapphire crystal cover. And what that means is it doesn't scratch. Now, just for added security, not that you need it, but it does come with a, uh, a screen protector, a glass protector. Mine is on there at the moment and you can see it still reads beautifully, but it, it doesn't scratch. And there was more than one occasion when I was on uh, on uh, the diving trip to Mexico where I banged it by accident and I thought, oh God, I've, I've messed up my new Terek. And no, absolutely not. It's scratch free. As I mentioned in that last video, the screen is easy to read whether you're on a really well lit reef in a cave or in less good visibility and less, less clear water. Doesn't matter what circumstance you're in, this screen is super, super easy to read. As I said, it was tested out by myself in Mexico. And just while we're on the topic of, you know, brightness and uh, screen and accessorizing, which I mentioned, what's really cool, I've kind of set it to a, a predator green here, but what's really, really cool is that uh, you can actually set this computer to be a number of different colors, as you can see here. 
Now how about the type of diving you can do with this computer, the different modes that we have with it? Well the modes are quite extensive on this. You can use this computer obviously the way I did as an open circuit computer. You can use it as an open circuit technical computer with various different gas blends. You can use it as a closed circuit computer with rebreather. Uh, it's good for free diving which it has a de dedicated mode for as all the it has dedicated modes for everything I just mentioned essentially and you can also use it as a bottom timer. One thing I really liked actually about diving with the Terek is that when you go diving uh, you jump in and they've, they've made sure that there's not an overdose of information, there's not too much of a cluster on the screen so you've got your key so you've got your key bits of information there but at one glance you pretty much just get the information you need all on one screen without having to navigate which i again personally i think is a massive plus on recreational mode it is possible to dive up to 99 percent oxygen which you're never going to need but you've got the full range of that if you want it uh, and one fun one feature i saw which i noticed which I haven't seen on another dive computer, granted I haven't used all the dive computers, I know this function exists but I don't see it enough, is the TTS function and that stands for time to surface. This basically does what it says on the tin, it tells you the time you need to return to the surface including ascent rate, ascent time, all the necessary stops you need to make along the way. It's really useful. I did mention on the previous video where we were testing the Terek out that you can swap between a, uh, a beep mode so you don't get the beep 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 but you get the uh, a vibrate function. Again, it's something that I'm gonna repeat now. If you are someone who dives in a dry suit, which I appreciate is quite a large part of our community, you're unlikely to feel that vibrate through the dry suit. That remains to be seen. I haven't tested it in a dry suit yet. But what you can do is you can either select beep, you can select vibrate, or you can select beep plus vibrate so you'll get both so that you do you do have a, a an option here you do have a range of choices choices is always a good thing now obviously this is more for a wider diving audience but as well as for our GUE audience um, you will see a lot of abbreviations on the uh, on the face of the Terek when you go diving you know NDL I'm sure everyone knows what that means no decompression limit TTS as I just mentioned is time to surface if these are things you're not familiar with I mean this is a no-brainer but do read the manual of course but well to build on that even if you don't read the manual again side note to repeat myself read the manual this goes without saying but I'm saying if in a world where you were stupid and you didn't read the manual what I really commend Shearwater for is the four button system uh, that they've got is really, really like intuitive and user friendly. I, as a given, I didn't set my computer of course without reading the manual, but I did have a play around with it. I didn't select any functions of course because you never know when you're going to turn something on and not, turn, not know how to turn it back because these things happen. But I did want to just play around, you know, scroll through the menus, see what options are available. And even without reading the manual, I found it incredibly intuitive just to navigate between the various settings on this dive computer. So as far as intuitivity, as far as being intuitive is concerned, it, it gets a massive thumbs up for me. Another thing that I really fell in love with with the Terek is the, uh, the dive plan function. Now, Obviously it goes without saying, most dive computers have got a plan function and usually that involves when you want to dive again or when it's time to dive again you can go into dive plan mode and you can check at that specific time what your no decompression limit is or what your allowable no decompression limit is. But as I said, that's for that specific time. What the Terek does is it allows you to plan ahead. Now again, I'm not a maestro of all dive computers. There are, I'm sure, other computers out there that do this, but of the ones I've tried and of the ones I've tested, the planning feature on this is the one that wowed me. Because as I said, it allows you to plan ahead. So you can actually say to the computer, okay, I wanna dive in 50 minutes, I wanna dive in 45 minutes. What will my no decompression limit be then? And it will tell you. And for all of you decompression divers out there, guess what, it is also possible to do decompression dive planning on the Shearwater Terek. You do need an additional piece of software, but guess what? It's free and it can be downloaded directly from the Shearwater website. Now I did talk about buttons before, 
uh, and I do love the four button system. I do think that compared to other dive computers I've used, these buttons really do feel good. However, and I do say this directed at our community now, for those of you who are dry suit divers, for those of you who dive with gloves, which I appreciate is a lot of you, this isn't something I've tested, but I think it's very easy to say that given the size of the buttons, they may be a bit on the small side for when you've got heavy duty dry suit gloves. So I guess that would be a negative that I can potentially throw at this computer. Not that I think it's a negative for me personally, but I, again, I'm, I'm talking to our wider community here and I do know that a lot of you dive in dry suits, so you may struggle with the button size of the Shearwater Terek. So do, I recommend the Shearwater Terek, and do I love the Shearwater Terek? The answer to that second question, do I love it, is a resounding absolute yes. Now, as I said, throughout the course of this review, this is for me and what I need and what my expectations are as a diver, which of course may differ to yours, I believe this computer fulfills everything that my personal needs are in a dive computer. And that is, I like to wear my, I, I am a watch person, so I will be wearing this as a watch. I, uh, I do love the interface, I love the usability, what you see is what you get and what you see is a really well made beautiful piece of equipment backed up not only by a system which is incredibly intuitive but supported by a customer support team over at Shearwater which are legitimately quite fantastic. For me and my purposes I would recommend the Shearwater Terek. I believe it is going to be far more prevalent in the uh, recreational diving industry than necessarily the hardcore technical one. Although I don't think, you know, we should turn our nose up at this. I think this is an incredible piece of technology and it's one that I would personally wholeheartedly recommend. So that's it from me once again from Global Underwater Explorers. I'm Nico Luro. If you do like the video, please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, tickle that notification bell so you know whenever we've got a new piece of content that drops on the channel. I would love to know what computer do you guys dive on? Why do you own a Shearwater Terek? And I would love to know what your immediate feedback of the Terek is if you are a Terek owner. Please leave your thoughts and your comments down below. As always, I will see you guys next time.